We're your hosts, Daniel and Alex, and this is, of, of, of course, our Porsche Weekend Preview. Alex, how are you, mate? How are you going? Are you excited for some supercar action after waiting a month? What's the Porsche? Did I say Porsche? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the thing is, I got mixed up with Bosch and Perth, and I just decided to mix the two and be done with it. <laughs> The LTM podcast powered by Slipstream Autosports. We're your hosts, Daniel and Alex, and this is the Bosch Power Tools Perth Weekend Preview. Alex, how are you, mate? Excited for some racing after waiting a whole month? Yeah, I'm getting quite used to the month. I must admit, it hasn't felt like a month, so it has gone quick. That. It has gone quick. You're not but wrong if, there. But for Super 2 drivers, they would have had, what, like three month holiday? Oh, my. It Whatever lasts- you want. 25th or 26th of February was the last race for them. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's, it's bonkers. I could have ridden a horse from Bathurst to Perth twice, <laughs> probably. Uh, and then, I don't know why I mentioned that, but the, the gap's just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> well, what question is, what's longer? Is it uh, Valtteri Bottas's pit stop or a supercar's calendar? Choose your pick. Well, yeah, you're not wrong. But uh, I think um, the Bottas is a bit quicker. Yeah, well, you know, it's these days. <laughs> anyway, so, of course, we've got uh, the Perth uh, round this weekend at Barbagallo Raceway or Wanneroo Raceway uh, to sprint round. Um, and uh, we've got a busy weekend lined up. But before we get into the track action, let's have a look at the news since uh, Torpo. Uh, so, big one is a uh, TFH hire and Erebus. So, uh, by the way, I do apologize if this does sound like old news. I'm basically trying to recap everything from the New Zealand round. Of course, we have covered it over on our TikTok. If you're watching on YouTube or listening on Spotify, feel free to check that out to stay up to date regularly. Um, but the big news is uh, that TFH hire have uh, decided to sponsor Brody Kostecki for the remainder of the 24 season. And uh, there is a question looming around about who will buy Erebus. Um, of course, there is a sale going around, or sale rumours going around. Um, so that will be a very interesting thing. Alex, have you uh, seen much about that? Uh, probably not as much. Uh, not No more than you have. Um, yeah, it came out, what, just after the New Zealand round? Mm. I, my actually biggest question is, what cars... Jack LeBrock going to drive this week, as in what it's going to look like, because apparently he doesn't have a sponsor. That is a good question. I'm still yet to well, find no out. One's, yeah, no one's mentioned a thing. You know, TFH, yeah, there was Kostecki, no worries. They're settling the team. But Jack's just chilling there like, so who's going to sponsor me? <laughs> He's just going to rock up with a white car. He's just going to rock up with a white car. and Yeah. That's, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to have some sort of truck assist on it, because he's sponsored by them. Hmm. No, no, that'll be very interesting for sure. That's just a guess of mine. But uh, it's going to be very interesting um, with the whole thing as well, whether they, you know, depends on what happens with the whole deal with Erebus for next year. So let's get, let's get, actually get a bit of context for those who aren't aware. So there has been some rumours looming around the socials lately um, that Erebus is potentially on sale or in discussions to potentially selling the team. Uh, and Speed Cafe have revealed probably two... Uh, favorite contenders for purchasing the teams. Um, first one is TFH hires, uh, is it, well, TFH hire, uh, Brett Thomas or um, yep. Aaron Hickman from Velo, uh, who of course sponsors the Adelaide 500 at the end of the year. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Hopefully, we find out what happens in the next couple of months. But um, it does make sense with TFH, with them locking in their sponsorship for Brody at least. And of course, Brody has actually been given the opportunity to race a Trans Am uh, at the bend at the end of the month. Um, but Alex, who yes. who um, for, who who do you reckon could potentially buy the team, even if it's not one of those two guys? Do you have a Certain person, because there are people saying here that maybe Paul Morris or Kelly Racing 
uh, especially Jordan here, I believe he said TFH Power by Kelly Racing. That could be interesting. Um, I got no idea. The way that the supercars paddock works these days, anything's possible. Exactly. <laughs> and, of course, uh, Barry Ryan as well. He owns at least, I think, 50% of uh, the team from memory. I could be completely wrong. Lidsville here says he's going to buy the team, so there you go. That is uh, that is the news done. <laughs> well, that would be, that'd be easier. Yeah, if you if if you just did that. Wait, hang on, Lidsville's gonna buy it or Yeah, yeah Lidsville said he's oh, gonna buy right. it. <laughs> they meant Barry. No, no, well he the thing is I, I can easily see Barry maybe staying around and Betty maybe retiring. Um with the when the team goes. Uh it'd be very interesting to see what happens. Hey. He deserves to retire. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I'm just going to have a quick look at the chat. Of course, if you're watching or listening to this podcast um, and you want to get involved, be sure to join the live versions of it. Uh, we do post it on our social so you can keep up to date. And if you ask a question, you will be featured in the podcast. So let's have a quick look here. Uh, starting off with YouTube, uh, the man, the myth, the, the legend, Jared Crabb. Super 2 needs some more rounds of their own tracks. Uh, sorry, need some rounds of their own tracks like Winton and QR with local supports. I really like that idea. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, no, especially good. when six is not enough, uh, especially how big of a gap it is. And uh, he says, looks like Velo might buy Erebus. Not sure Barry will sell his share. Betty semi-retired and spends time on the farm. Yeah, as we said earlier, um, I can see maybe Betty leaving. Although she's had a good career. She's done very, very well. So she should yeah. be should be quite happy about that. Um, how else we got here? We don't get to see the new eighty sixes till Townsville. Scotty says that's crazy. That's a July round. So we're gonna. There was waiting. a there was a bit of delay on that. Hmm. But, but hey, they've only just started testing. Yeah. But hey, once they go on track, it's gonna be good. Yeah, they're not cheap, those things. No. I found well, them. Um, Bryce says, no news about Jack's sponsor yet. Yeah, yeah. as we said before. Uh, hopefully we find out maybe tomorrow or the day after. Maybe, who knows? We might even find out Friday like we did when TFH announced their sponsorship. Back at Bathurst, that is. Um JVP or Jordan thinks uh, doesn't think Barry will stick around. It'll be very interesting to find out and see how that unfolds because apparently Brett Thomas from TFH has, actually has a good relationship with Barry. Um, so it'll be very interesting. Uh, yeah. And uh, Hairspray and Horsepower, how are you going? How can these kids progress with that amount of seat time? Yeah, it's bonkers. It's, it, it's ridiculous. Um, they need to be at more rounds. Almost every round, I should say. At least eight, you know. See, yeah, obviously agreed. Supercars only have 12, which still isn't enough for them on that end. Um, but Super 2 just need to be at more. And even what Jared said, I reckon Super 2 should go do some of their own independent ones too. That would be cool to see. I um, agree with that, yeah. Next up here is uh, Cam Waters and Will Brown's NASCAR Cup Series debuts. Well... I say that. Will Brown's been locked in for a Sonoma uh, race with uh, Richard Childress Racing. Now, of course, Brody Kostecki raced for them last year, and he was actually going to this year, uh, but he actually turned down that drive. Um, not, there's not a lot of explanation as to why. Um, but We have uh, our theories. We have <laughs> our theories, yeah. it's it's we, we kind of hint, hint, nudge, nudge, <laughs> based yeah. off what we've heard. And what we've seen on socials, it's, yeah. But, uh, so that's an exciting opportunity for Will Brown. He's going to have a lot of fun in that for sure, I reckon. And Cam Waters. Now, of course, he's had two truck races this year. Unfortunately, he didn't finish either of them, but he did show some promise. And I reckon uh, he showed enough promise for Roush Fenway Kozlowski Racing to potentially have him on board for their Stage 60 program. Um, now I say that because there was a video released today, uh, with them making an announcement and cheekily hinting at a driver joining them. Um, and obviously they didn't reveal the driver, but you could see, uh, from the, they had a back, 
you could see the back of them, and it looked like Cam Waters. Um, and the announcement yeah, will be twice. at yeah. midnight Australian time. So when this comes out uh, as a podcast for those watching later on, uh, this is being recorded before the announcement was made. So we don't know if that is actually Cam Waters or not, but I highly speculate it is. Um, but he's going to have a lot more fun than that than the trucks, I reckon. Uh, it's going to be cool yeah. to see. Bryce says stream till midnight. <laughs> Mate. Yeah. I have done that in the past. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but not tonight. Um, so that'll be interesting. So we'll... we'll I'll, I'll, uh, uh, that's a, sorry, that does look like Cam Waters. It does, doesn't it? Um, look, yeah. Especially with the hat at the back uh, or flip back as well. That's usually how he, how he rolls. But uh, it's going to be very interesting. Jordan says water's probably racing in a Castro car in the NASCAR. Yeah, yeah, probably, eh? Um, speaking of that, their NASCAR, their Castro car that they had for the retro round uh, was sick. I loved it. Of course, it was a tribute to the old retro Toyota livery. Uh, it was very, well, the, the iconic Toyota Castro livery. It was iconic, and I loved it. Um, moving That's on. Cam Waters. That has to be. It has to be, right? Oh, it looks be, like him. There can't be any I don't, other I, don't many, I don't know many other NASCAR drivers off by heart, but that looks like him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, right, tyre pressures. Um, now, we, now, we're starting to go into the minor rules, uh, minor news now. There wasn't too many big major news to talk about since New Zealand. Uh, there's been a slight change of tyre pressure to the at least Darwin. I'm not sure about Perth. I think Perth as well. Uh, with the with the tires, it's from 17 down to 15 psi. It's just to help tire wear um, and get more grip. Um, so whether that actually has an effect or not, it'll be interesting to see. Um, and also Super Two, Cam McLeod, um, he actually he could potentially drive for Premier High Racing for well, as a co-driver this year, um, but. Peter Exeribus said that he has to at least be before I think Sandown. No, there was a certain round he had to be at least third in the championship um, to be accepted at least. So that'd be interesting. He's currently tenth, I believe, um, after round one. But of course, it's only round one. So all yeah. it takes is one good weekend, one bad weekend, and it changes your whole championship there. Speaking of Premier Racing, Slade, Tim Slade will uh, be running number 200 instead of 23 uh, for his 200th championship round. So that's a good achievement by him there. And uh, also, this was covered just a little bit after um, Topor, uh, a potential Perth street race in the future. Um, of course, there has been on and off conversation um, regarding this for many years in terms of you know, doing it and not doing it. Uh, it's all about government funding and all that. But now sort of conversation has opened up yet again uh, with government potentially, you know, decide like <sighs> that they, they might consider giving them more money basically to make it happen. Um, so okay. we could potentially be seeing a Perth street race in maybe 2026. Who knows? Um, there's still cool. very, you know, in early conversation about that, but that uh, that'll be very interesting for sure. Um, Penrite revealed their uh, co-driver lineup. We've got Dale Wood teaming up with uh, Richie Stanaway and Garth Tander with Matt Payne. That'll be a very great, very really good combo. Uh, of course, Kevin Estre actually raced for them last year. Unfortunately, not this year. Um, but still, nonetheless, Garth Tander's still speedy. We saw what he did with Reynolds last year. And Dale Wood is also quite speedy as well. Of course, he was with Andre Heimgartner last year. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see how that dynamic goes. Uh, and, and last of the news is Super 2. Uh, so obviously they waited two or three months to race again. Unfortunately, Zane Morse will be having to wait even longer. He'll be missing round two uh, due to a recovering from a broken wrist. So... In his place will be Ryan Gilroy. Now, of course, he raced in Super 3 for the AIM Motorsport squad. Uh, so this will be his debut. So very great, op exciting opportunity for Ryan. It's a shame for Zane. Of course, he had a, 
um, pretty decent run at Bathurst. I think he had so some bad unlucky. luck, though, from memory, though. But he had pace, uh, so that was good to know, at least. Um, Lidsville says we need more rounds in the V8s. Yes, definitely. Uh, Bryce says, is Perth still a 60-minute race? Yeah, technically it is. Um, it's scheduled for 55 laps, which is, what, 54, 53 seconds a lap? Yeah, it adds up to roughly that. Um, so with that news being done and dusted, let's get straight into the weekend and what to expect. Um, so obviously, Barbie Gala Raceway is our destination this weekend. Uh, seven track, uh, Seven corners. Uh, 2.4 kilometers. Uh, it's the 45th round held at uh, at Barbagallo in the Supercars World. Well, let me start that again. It's the 45th Supercars Championship round hosted at Barbagallo. There you go. And I believe it is a soft tire round. I couldn't find much information regarding pit stops and stuff like that. Um, but it is a super sprint, and I assume there will be one compulsory pit stop with at least two tire changes. Or at least two tires to be changed in that stop. Um, yeah. So, well, given how they're racing for roughly an hour, it does make sense. And I, like I said, soft tire would be very interesting. It is a much faster track than uh, Torpo uh, in terms of cornering. Yeah. And like you said last time out, um, it might help some drivers. For example, Matt Stone Racing. Uh, they did well in Melbourne, didn't do too well in New Zealand, but they might bounce back yeah. with a quicker track. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's kind of hard to judge, though, this, uh, this year because, I don't know, I feel like without Shane there, it's going to be a bit different. I'm just kind of looking at like the previous winners and stuff. And mm. While he never really dominated, um, it was still close between Erebus and Red Bull. So I'm going to take a punt and think that Red Bull is still going to dominate. Mm. Um, but... Yeah, I think, though, that some lower teams could have a good weekend, though. Like, you know, they all show signs of improvement. Like, you know, Tim Slade qualified fourth in New Zealand and crashed by that one, uh, corner one. But, you know, there's still signs. That's why we love the supercars. It's, it's, you know, it's so hard to guess who's going to perform. You could just show no idea. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Um, like, for example, that Nick Perkat win in, in uh, Melbourne. Didn't, was not yeah. expecting that heading into the weekend. Um, Lidsville, thanks for the TikTok gift, mate. Unfortunately, I don't have the board with me today, uh, but I will feature your name anyway. But you are a legend, so don't forget that. Um, but appreciate okay. it, mate. I, I'm i sorry. I, it will come back. He sends his hard-earned cash to help us with a <laughs> gift, and you don't have the board that I'm sure you've filled up a few times. I have filled up a few times, and everyone here is yeah. awesome who does that. Uh, you guys are all it's legends. True. Yeah, everyone is um, great. Yeah, everyone's fantastic. So, Lidsville, I do apologise that, but you are a legend, so thanks for that. Um, but, yeah, maybe we could potentially see a Erebus Red Bull battle. Um, obviously, you know, different circumstances this year than last year for both teams. Um, but sure. Red Bull have been very speedy. Will Brown especially um, has been quite quick in that Red Bull. And who knows, Brody Kostecki, it's his home race. Um, he'll be definitely trying to put on a show um, for his home crowd, so that'll be interesting for sure. He did well last year, so hopefully he can do well this time out as well. Um, let's have a quick look at uh, the schedule. Um, now, I've actually got it here in Perth time. Supercars was kind enough to actually put it on their website, uh, the Perth times. Uh, well, I, I've got it in Adelaide time. Oh, so. there you go. Well, we can do the conversion yeah. thing again like we did for New Zealand. If you want. Yeah. I just noticed Radicals are on this weekend. It's pretty cool. That's right. So nice, nice tie-in. So so in terms of support categories this weekend, we've got uh, the Touring oh, Car Masters. We've got the Radical Cups. Uh, the Aussie Racing Cars, they finally make a return. Good. Um, love that. I love that. They're Aussie so cool. Cars. I love them. Of course, they were um, the support category for the Superbikes a couple of weeks ago. That was cool to see. Oh, yeah. Uh, and obviously, we got the Dunlop Series as well. They finally make a return after a long, long wait. Um, so, yeah, schedule. Friday, um, Dunlop Series go out for their first practice session uh, at 10, 10 a.m. Uh, now, of course, my times will be Perth times. Alex will be reading the Adelaide times. 
Hopefully that helps with your conversion, Alex. It's, okay, it's an hour and a half. Yes, yeah, okay. roughly, yeah. So what, what was yours again? 10.10 10 10. a.m. Yeah, okay, 11.40, which means it would be 12.10 in Sydney. Mm. Well, uh, East Coast. And, into, and uh, then Dunlop Series go out for practice two at one twenty five p.m.? Yep, 2.55, 3.25. Uh, and then supercars go out for a 60-minute practice session at 2.20 p.m. Um, and Alex... 3.50 for us. Yep. And, uh, that, of course, that practice session was originally going to be a 90-minute session like we saw in New Zealand, but supercars opted to change that. Uh, to a 60-minute Friday and 2.20s on a Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday uh, will, looks a bit different now with supercars going out for practice two at 9.15 a.m. Uh, 10.45 Adelaide, which would be 11.15 Sydney. And uh, Dunlop Series go out for qualifying one at 11 a.m. 4.30 and 1. And supercars then go out for their qualifying session at 12. One thirty and 2. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Especially with the guys listening on Spotify. They're going to be like, what? <laughs> well, it depends where you're listening from. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we're you just might be able to catch the action. Exactly. We're just, we're just trying appealing to, to the whole country now. Exactly. Before we did New Zealand and just Sydney, now the whole country knows when... The track actions on. Exactly. And the way we did Which New Zealand so... last time was a bit interesting how we did it. We kind of butchered it last time. But we're, we're yeah, making well, it work. Yeah, we're making it work. Exactly. At least the next race will have normal time zones. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only half an hour differences either way. That's it. Slipstream, how you going? Welcome the legendary it's team it's themselves. Um, then we've got, uh, well, I said supercars qualifying, did I? Yeah, so Dunlops go out for their first yeah, race for the weekend at 2.20 p.m. That's 3.50 p.m. and 4.20. And then supercars for race nine, which is scheduled for 55 laps, is at 3.45 p.m. It's very late for us. 5.15. Mm, and in and saying that, like we said before, it's going to be a... They're going to basically race into the twilight, or into the twilight zone, as, as I guess we could say. That's going to be hectic with uh, the sun. Doesn't that really screw them up on turn six? Yeah, it's going to be it's going turn. to be it's going to be very tricky. It's going to be interesting too. Depends on uh, how very. bad it will be. Uh, and then on Sunday, we've got supercars go out for their third practice session at nine forty a.m. Interesting they got a practice session on a Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, it oh, feels weird. Different. It's not normal, eh? Yeah, no, no, very odd. Uh, that's at 11.10 at Adelaide, uh, 11.40 Sydney. Yeah, and then Dunlop Series will be going out for their second qualifying at 11.05 a.m. 12.35, And Supercars will be going out for qualifying for race 10 at 12 p.m. Uh, one thirty and two, uh, and then Dunlop Series race two at uh, two fifteen p.m. Three forty five Adelaide and four fifteen, and then super, yeah, and then supercars go out for race ten fifty five laps as well at three forty five p.m. Yeah, same thing five fifteen. Yeah. So that felt like and reading out an assembly, but we finally got there. Yeah, it does feel weird, <laughs> but um, yeah. That's all right. Like you, like you said, next time out, there'll be the time zones will be a bit better. Uh, so let's well, have, it'll actually help us because it's the same time zone as us. Yeah. So that uh, actually, you know, that's a good point. Around. We only have to read one. Uh, let's have yeah. a quick look at the chat, see what we have missed. Alex was just chilling, listening earlier. Yep. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. Um, like Jack Smith could jump in the car and win, mate. Doesn't matter what car, he can win for sure. I have faith. Uh, I just saw a highlight of his wheel falling off on the Supercar <laughs> website. No, that's that's great timing. It's because he didn't want others to think he was unstoppable. So that's that he was didn't want to done. undercut his rivals, and he just exactly. thought, I'll give him an extra leg. Yeah, exactly. and my wheel will fall off. Exactly, uh, Matthew. Welcome. How you going, mate? What time? Oh, we've already covered that. Uh, always like Kelly Racing. Yeah, Kelly Racing. Um, is a, is a special we in Supercars them. world. I do, yeah. but they are in Super 2, which is at least good to see. 
Uh, and then Sunday practice, why? It's because origi- it's just better for the fans. That's what they've said. Um, because originally it was going to be a 90-minute session like we saw in New Zealand. However, they've decided to get rid of that for more track time. Uh, well, technically it's the same amount of track time. It's just split. Um, so that's I like why. that though. I prefer it. It was really weird just watching Sunday just the race. Yeah. Well, I had the qualifying, but you know what I mean. Still, yeah. Remember back in the day when they had warm-ups? They still do for Bathurst, but I think um, yeah, if, this will feel like ago. a warm-up, I reckon. Um, and remember when back in F- Adelaide, didn't they? Yeah, well, F1 had a warm-up too back in the day as well. Oh, back in the day. MotoGP still do it. See, why can't we do it then? Anyway. <laughs> there's, no, there's no point. No, nah. but um, obviously it's just for the fans though, so... There you go. And uh, let's have a quick look at the pit order. Obviously, you know, it is a live pit yep. order this season. Uh, so, obviously, Red Bull at the front. You got it? Would you like to read it? Sure. All right, Alex, go ahead and read it. I got it. Uh, yeah, Red Bull at the front. No surprise there. Penrite, the old Kiwi team. Uh, second there, um, which is this is the championship order. So, pit lane order, championship order. Still second, too. Yeah. yeah. It helps us out because it's one less thing to read. Um, Erebus is still third, which is good. Um, Shell V-Power have clawed their way back up. They had a massive New Zealand round. And I'm pretty sure they were what, like ninth or something in the order last time. They were fourth. Yeah, yeah they, 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 really climbed, they climbed up after that good, they re- good up weekend. Um, Walkinshaw, fifth. They're about the same. Tim Manning has fallen, and so is Matt Stone, sixth, seventh, respectively. Tickford still down there in eighth. Uh, we've got the BJR part one. I'm pretty sure they keep them together, though. Yeah, they keep them together. Um, the BJR, and then Premier Racing, and then Blanchard Racing. And like you said earlier, um, especially Premier High Racing, Matt Stone Racing as well, I expect them to do a lot better than they, ha- than they did in uh, t- mm. Torpo. Of course... Tim Slade didn't get didn't have much success. Of course, he had pace because we saw him in the shootout, but unfortunately, he didn't have any luck. Of course, he had that crash in New Zealand. So it'll be very interesting to see if we see any improvements from them this weekend. Um, Bryce said, oh, hang on. Uh, someone here said, I get to miss school and go watch practice Friday. Mate, you are living the dream. I heard. <laughs> How good indeed. Um, stay in school. It is stay in school as it's important. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Uh, race cars. <laughs> uh, hypothetically, Bryce says here, who will replace Cam next year if he goes to NASCAR like Gizzy? That will be interesting. Um, good Zach, I want Zach Best back in a supercar seat. He deserves a shot. Um, Is he even still racing anymore? Think, we've had this discussion before, we've had, haven't we? We've had, yes, this we feels have. familiar. This feels like deja vu. Do I remember what we said? No. No, I don't remember either. Let me find <laughs> but out. I, I would love to see him back in the seat, you know? Uh, or maybe Brad Vaughan as well. Um, yeah. As well, he's he's doing fairly well. Um, I would say Kai Allen, but he, I, I reckon he'll end up at DJR next year. Um. Yeah, yeah. As I got a weird feeling that Will Will might retire. This you reckon year. he'll retire? I don't know. He's got you know he's got the the baby now, and you know everything is going well. Although I still think got that yeah, that you know that that racing blood in him. But although well, he probably might I don't be know. more motivated he's had a, after the yeah, well, that's New the Zealand, thing, right? <laughs> well, before New Zealand, but yeah, this is it. This is last yeah. year. After New Zealand, now nah, I'm going to one more. Yeah, podium. <laughs> Um, yeah, hundred percent. But Jordan here says um, he makes a good point. Anton is out of contract, and Andre as well. So we might see a similar thing happening uh, in Formula One in uh, in supercars uh, with seats going everywhere. Of course, we already had that. Yeah. Um, imagine Zach Best doesn't have a sorry. Zach Best doesn't have a um, co drive yet, does he? No. Well, apparently, according here, Bryce says Zach Best isn't racing. So. Um, whether he's having a break or not, I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, Scotty here says, mm. imagine Andre in that Mustang at Tickford. That would be nice. I wouldn't mind that. 
Of course, it'll be a lot better than the BJ Oka he's got now. Uh, of course, he has. Oh, he, no, was he, at, won. he was at Tick. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, <laughs> he won last time, so that's a good point. Um, but Tickford could have won too uh, with that car if you know Ken Waters didn't look at a black cat or stepped on a crack <laughs> or something. But that could be interesting. Of course, Andre actually started with um, Tickford many moons ago. Back in 2015, True. I believe, or 2014. Yes. With the 20- super black racing. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I love that car. Mm. Um, yeah, Jordan says, I wouldn't mind a Kiwi at Tickford. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool indeed. But, Alex, of course, we already said our – we sort of hinted at our predictions in a way um, earlier. Well, a little bit. But who yeah, do you reckon Kevin will be Alex. the man on top this weekend? Or who's the man to look out for? It's really hard to go past Will Brown. Mm. Um, so I'm going to write his name down right now. It's also kind of hard to go past Brock Feeney. <laughs> You're um, not wrong. <laughs> however, I, I think maybe one of the Penrite boys could show up. I don't know. Obviously, it's going to be hard to stand away because he hasn't raced there in ages. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think also Kostecki could be up there too because, like, unlike the last round where I was coming in fresh track, no one knew what was happening. Um, he could throw a spanner in the works and just come out guns blazing again. Look, same team, same car. Mm. What more do you want? Um, he didn't win them though last year. No, obviously we know why. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Shane's in America now, so he can win. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, uh, I'm writing those. I'm writing those three uh, names down. But I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Matt Payne can get up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, he, like I said, he was quick in in uh, New Zealand as well. He's been qu- quick all year. Uh, unfortunately, the yeah. tire wear part, he just needs to get a, get a, um, get ahead of. Um, of course, like yeah, I keep saying, Triple Eight, uh, <laughs> and like I said, Triple Eight. Uh, are good at actually managing their tyre wear. And speaking of Triple Eight, Bryce here says, if the Triple Eight teammates come together, my TV is going through the window. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but actually, that actually begs the question. Do so, you reckon they'll on. touch? You reckon Dude, we might see a fire? Me, if that happened to me, mm. so if I saw that on my TV, I, that wouldn't happen to me. I'd be like throwing a party. Yeah, we know, we know uh, how you sit with... For the last <laughs> many years, I've been begging for that to happen. never happened. Hey, it creates drama. Anyway. But do you but reckon... I like, I like Will and Brock, so I respect them. Uh, do, you do you reckon, reckon they'll, they'll touch? Crash. What do you reckon no. that, that, that we might see another New Zealand where they didn't make contact? No, I think those boys are pretty respectful to each mm. other. Yeah, definitely. And they've kind of been... Look, maybe as the year goes on, maybe not. Um, mm. You know, they're both... First and second in the championship. So, look, <laughs> who knows? But I don't know. For the sake of the race, please don't. But yeah. well, Bryce yeah, here says uh, he makes a good point. Triple H drivers who's third. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Chaz is probably <laughs> going to be third. Uh, the Triple Eight drivers will come together. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. That I I can see it getting to a point where team orders will have to play effect or come into effect. Um, there might be, I don't want to see that, but they, there might be some tension in the, in the pit lane. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Look, but in if saying they that, didn't crash mm. with Shane Van Gisberg at the wheel, mm. who's very aggressive, I think these two will be fine. Well, we saw in Topol, they drove very, very well, uh, and they still battled. Yeah. It was very great to see. Uh, in terms of predictions, we've got some predictions written here. Uh, as soon okay, as I yep. refind it, because I lost it. Scotty reckons Will Brown yeah. will be uh, be the one to beat. Um, Jordan yep, says Thomas do. Randall is his pick. I'll be very excited to see if Thomas Randall does well. He's had a rough start to the year. Well, Rowan Tickford, a banner in the yeah. works. Well, Tickford's had a rough start to the year, but um, very rough. Our, Thomas is quick. Once he gets behind that car, he is going to be quick. Um, Tom and he's he, quick. However, we've only seen him quick at Talon Band. and race Although he he did very well in Hidden Valley, uh, 
on his debut. That's true, yeah, he did. He did so yeah. I'm excited yes. for that round, but that's still a little while away. Which is next. Which is next. Um, but, yeah, Scotty's here says watch Brody this weekend or and maybe Anton. Um, if, if you know, Anton can keep that momentum. Um, well, it just depends if the Mustangs are good because, mm. you know, it doesn't seem like Anton's bad. It's just when the car's bad, they look bad. Mm. When the car's good, they look good. As we saw, he came second twice or two podiums at least. Yeah. Um, yeah, down two third places, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, who knows? It'd be interesting. Tyler Scott says Stanaway is his dark horse for the weekend, yeah. Yeah, like, it'd be interesting. I, I'm curious to see how he goes here. Um, there's a couple Anton Di Pasquale's here as well. Sarah Cooper says uh, we need a repeat of Verstappen and Ricardo at Baku 2018. <laughs> Do you remember oh, that? Jesus. <sighs> yeah, I was that, just trying to remember what it was. Yeah, yeah. Turn one. I was watching that one with my dad. Oh. That was funny. Yeah, imagine if we see that. That reminds me of when Wink Up and Lounge came together in 2014 in Tasmania. Um, Alex is frozen, so a moment of silence as he tries to rejoin the chat. You froze for me. What are you talking about? Well, you froze for me. Maybe we both just froze. I don't know. No, it was not. everything just happened. Um, <laughs> it's all over the shop in this podcast. The, la- yeah, after tonight. Um, <laughs> With the Lounge? Wink Up and... Yeah, 2014. Uh, Lounge and Wink Up came together in oh. Tasmania. Um, my memory. Ah, yeah, the last corner. Yeah. 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 So yeah. We, who knows? We might see something like that. TFH Racing, welcome. We were just talking about you guys earlier. Brody winning boys. Yep. Yep. Good answer there, mate. Um, yep. <laughs> well, I wrote that down. So- you're frozen again. I am. Oh, there you go. You're back. For God's sake, I'm on your side, TFH. Stop freezing. <laughs> I wrote Brody down. He's in my predictions. Get a win. <laughs> Or uh, well, maybe we have to wrap this up if maybe the internet is having a panic attack. Yeah, that's, we're, we're that's saying really that good. maybe uh, they go for Blanchard. Uh, so next up is uh, Tyler Scott here. He said he would love to see a Mostert and Waters do a Scafie Ambrose in two thousand five. Yeah, uh, his da- and Bryce's dark horse is Andre. Um, a lot of Andres and, and Scotty. He made a good point here. Killer Kai oh, to run away with the Dunlop series this weekend. Yeah, I won't be surprised if he does. Yeah, no. He, he is doing very well. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, we do have a lot of questions if you're watching and listening uh, when this is out. Um, of course, like I said before, if you want to join and be a part of the podcast, be sure to join our live streams when we do it and ask questions uh, to be featured. Um, I dropped my pants. Uh, what do you think Brock uh, Brock Feeney is getting up to this weekend? Um, yeah, like we said. Racing. Yeah, racing a triple eight machine, probably. He'll have a podium or two. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I'll be I'll be shocked if he's outside the ten. Out, yeah, well, yeah, definitely. But outside the five, I mean. <laughs> yeah, For sure. Gotcha. Uh, and We'll do a couple more questions here before we hit our final thoughts. Xavier, let's be honest. I want Cam Waters to win on Sunday because I'm going. But realistically, Brock or Will Brown. I would love to see um, Cam Waters win uh, after the luck he's had this year. Um, yeah, in Australia and in in America. Yeah. Not much but, good luck. So, yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, he hasn't had much good luck for years. No. He's yeah, Mr. So. Mr. Second Place. He's literally um, Jean Alacy. Of supercars. Mr. Second Place or getting taken out. That too. Out of second place. That too. Or becoming Thomas the Tank Engine in NASCAR. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bryce, how many crashes will Ryan Wood have this weekend? I reckon he would do well. He did He did fairly well in New Zealand. He did um, improve. Yeah. He, he's getting better. So I would love to love to see him do, do better. Kostaki and Brown to have a coming together. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Um, of course, we <laughs> saw them have a little tangle in New Zealand, so that that could be on the cards as well. Um, I love Xavier says I love watching this. It's just so entertaining and so true on him. This is in cat lock, cat locks, by the way. So true of on him getting taken out <laughs> about cameras. Yes, well, with yeah, no, hundred percent. I speak the honest truth yeah. uh, on this podcast. The so yeah. <laughs> If you don't like what I say, it's just because it's true. Anyway, um, no. We speak our opinions. He does get taken out. 
Yeah. He does get taken out. Well, he's it's just not right. Well, he's had two opportunities to win this year, and both times he's been taken out. Even in NASCAR, though. <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't get taken oh, out this time. Like I said, if he doesn't get poor taken blank. out, he can win. So we we'll got to taken out last year. The highlights are coming up on the website. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if he gets taken out, it's who commented? Uh, Xavier. Xavier. I remember Xavier. <laughs> um, Bryce, w- when will Courtney finally retire? Um, he's going strong still. He still looks motivated. Um, so maybe 2026, maybe. I don't know. Maybe next year will be his last year. Who knows? It's Even the same question with Winnerbottom, though. It's actually the same question for a lot of them, especially so Winnerbottom, Davo, yeah. or Davison, not Will, not um, David Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and well, James Corney. Well, him too. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. We need more space for young up and comers. Um, if Super Two had more than six rounds, you could grab some drivers from there. But gee, sounds like you have common same. sense. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Can't wait for supercars. Exactly. Um, Jared Krebs says, "Will Davison should do a yearly wild card, like yeah, like 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 a mentor role, like Lounds with his wild card entry. Yeah, that'd be um, DJ. I should do something like that. We should have more teams to do wild cards and uh, Juros. That'd be cool. I would love that. Obviously, it requires a lot more money, but um, it'd be cool to see more cars yeah. on the grid. But uh, anyway, I'd opposed to it. Uh, let's wrap this up. Alex, any uh, final thoughts before we uh, do our closing outros and whatnot? No, it's just going to be a very, um, yeah, very interesting round. We've got a busy weekend coming up. You're very busy. Actually, I can probably watch a few races, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so all the, all the best, by the way, for your oh, commentating th- debut. Th- thank you. Thank Everyone you. in the comment, wish <laughs> Daniel good luck. <laughs> no, it's very Commentating nice. this week at Pedal Free. It's going to be exciting. So, yeah, if you haven't seen the announcements or haven't heard me say it about a thousand times or Alex just then, I'll be at the Ben Motorsport Park this weekend for commentating uh, round two of the UniSA Australian HPV Super Series. I've got 179 bikes entered, um, wow. which is nuts. So you know them all? I know a lot of I know most of them. I'm doing my research. Um, of course, I'll good. be going up on the Friday um, during scrutineering, so that they'll give me a good chance to get familiar with everyone. How long is the race? It's a six-hour race. Um, And they use the West layer. uh, And then, so basically, we do it. They do. Yeah. Yeah, you know, instead of going left, you go right at that little part of the track. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Of course, we've got, it's all basically building up to the 24-hour in September. Um, So that's that's the big one, of course. What track's that at? uh, Murray Bridge. Um, they set up a little street circuit, so which is really cool. So I can't wait for that. So if you are at Adelaide uh, this weekend, feel free to head on down. It is free entry for spectators, as far as I'm aware. Um, so if you want to hear my voice all day, first off, I apologise. Second of all, you're and welcome it, to come. If it's not free, Daniel's going to pay because he just said it's free. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe like a <laughs> read terms and conditions there, but. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it should be good. It should be exciting. Um it's a fantastic event for families. Um a great day out. Um yeah, we've got food this food as well. I don't know how the I don't know the whole shtick. I'll find out Friday. But be sure You'll to be head the on down. Commentary booth. You won't be able to see any food. Exactly. <laughs> I won't be able to walk around too much. Um but anyway, no. epic uh weekend coming up with racing in general. Of course we got that. You've got your Nurburgring uh twenty four hour. You don't have that? Scratch that. I'm oh, not sure. Participating. But no, F- F1's on as well. F1 is on. Um, NASCAR's on. Mo- no, I don't, I don't think they're on. IndyCar no, is on. doing their um, Indy 500 qualifying, though. So that begins. So that'd be cool. I can't keep up with that one. Um, so that'd be exciting for sure. Yeah, it's too much too much, too much racing to keep up. Um, the month of May in, in IndyCar is hectic. Well, they, they have had- a whole weekend for qualifying. Yeah, and they, they actually they already had their um, Grand Prix there as well last yeah, week. Yeah, that I don't mind. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, Madness May, because, of course, we got the Monaco Grand Prix, I think, later on as well, after Imola, to round up the month, I believe. So it's going to be exciting. But uh, I do apologise this podcast was a bit all over the shop, but uh, it is a live stream and we love that's having... That's how we roll. That's how we roll. We, we, we roll with the flow. 
Um, so if you, like I said before, if you're watching or listening on Spotify when this is actually released and you want to be part of the podcast uh, and you actually want to join these legends here that we have mentioned tonight, uh, especially Soul Sniper and James who have uh, joined um, in the back end of this podcast here, welcome. Um, be sure to check out our socials and join our live stream podcasts um, to ask questions and get featured. So. By all means, do that. Uh, speaking of socials, all our socials are listed in the description below on the show notes. Uh, you can catch us on our Instagrams and whatnot there. Check out Slipstream Autosports socials as well. Uh, and stay tuned for next week where we will be doing our uh, supercar review uh, and our F1 review as well uh, and some more stuff as well on top of that. Uh, in terms of live streams, I'll be live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. or tonight, 7 p.m. because this will be uploaded that day so there you go uh for some more uh v8 supercars one if that tickles your fancy feel free to join so uh thanks for joining alex uh thanks everyone who has joined in tonight in their questions and whatnot appreciate it and we'll catch you next week bye for now yeah